my dear friends today cme is on hypercalcemia the reason why i have chosen this particular topic hypercalcemia is to highlight its importance because very commonly we will not look for hypercalcemia because we are unaware of the various manifestations uh, and the disguises in which it can come majority of our patients uh, who have severe bone pains muscular weakness neuromuscular symptoms depression psychiatric problems we dub them to something else and we will not look for the common condition hypercalcemia all it requires is just do a blood examination and look for serum calcium once you know the serum calcium is out of the normal limits normal limits being around 8.5 to 10.3 anything more than 10.3 is hypercalcemia then of course we need to evaluate the patient for the cause of hypercalcemia this entire cme is on how to go about how to step by step evaluate the patient and how to plan the treatment of hypercalcemia so let us see the various aspects of hypercalcemia and before that i would take you through briefly through for the calcium metabolism and how the homeostasis of calcium is maintained okay let's go for the cme 